one of the biggest reasons I feel like if you're black, you probably need to see this, especially if you're a little kid or, you know, just in general. One of the things I loved about it is it because it shows people that look just like me with my skin tone such a positive light. A lot of people say things like, why are people supporting this so much? I don't see why this is a big deal. Most of these people aren't black, I mind you. But a lot of people say things, well, he isn't the first black superhero to have a movie, and I agree. I'm not saying that this movie is like gonna end racism. I'm not saying this movie is our savior or anything, but I feel like it's reasonable to get excited about this. A lot of people bring up Blade. Well, you gotta remember, Blade is a fucking vampire, and he comes from a stereotypical background. You know, he lived in a hood and you know whatnot. You know, he didn't have, you know, a father growing up. Think about Spawn. Spawn was a, a black superhero. I mean, that movie didn't do very well because. I mean, it, it really wasn't that good aside from that, but think about it. Why do you think people will support a well, you know, well-spoken, intelligent, wealthy black man over a demon? Spawn was a man who sold his soul to the devil. What child do you think that's black growing up is going to look like? Yeah, I want to be just like that. Well, what child do you think should think like that? Yeah, I want to make a deal with one of, you know, a, a demon from hell and be just like Spawn. What's positive about that? One of the things that I loved about this movie is the way women are being portrayed. You got beautiful, dark-skinned women that aren't overly sexualized, you know, that warriors. You know, they can stand on their own. They're very intelligent. They don't identify any of the tropes or stereotypes that are negatively associated with black women. They don't have bad attitudes. Um, you know, I like the fact that they had the women, you know, rocking African ass, you know, hairstyles. Some of them were bald. You know, they 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 looked at African culture and they, they didn't demonize it. They didn't look well. We're not gonna do this movie. They weren't afraid to do anything. They they speak African uh, languages in the movie all throughout the film. They have beautiful clothing. Like, I, I just love every minute of it. Like, it's unapologetically black. It doesn't make you feel ashamed of anything. They show them there every aspect of African culture. They show the people that are out, you know, living in huts and things like that. They don't make them look real bad. They don't make, you know, like a third world country or things like that. And then they show the urbanized version, you know, of Africa. They show cities and markets and things like that. You know, a lot of people, when they think of African countries, they think of shitholes and they think of, you know, places run with uh, dictators and things like that. They didn't buy into any negative stereotypes of us in general or Africa at all. And I love it. So many people say things like, well, this is just black, you know, exploitation. This is propaganda. You know, you have to be a social justice warrior to like this movie. And it's not true. The reality is... It's just a movie that doesn't show us as being fucked up. Most movies, literally, we have to be a slave. You know, we have to be, you know, going through some type of oppression. We have to be getting fucked up by the police. We have to, like, watch us get whipped for hours and things like that. You know, they're showing us in a positive light. It's really too many, like, negative stereotypes that just have to be associated with us in, in media. Like, I'll give you an example. Reality TV shows. How many like real reality TV shows can you think of that are majorly popular that don't show us as some type of rappers, you know, us having some type of dysfunction with women, you know, things like that. Well, we don't make ourselves look fucking stupid on TV. You can't really think of a lot of shows like that. One of the main examples of that is probably love and hip hop. That's why I don't like that. That's why I didn't I didn't like watching Empire. Because you have to have at least one black, you know, man that's gay. You have to have at least one black person that has to be married to a white woman. You know, Cookie and uh, Lion, you know, I forget what his name was, Lion. You know who I'm talking about, Terrence Howard. They have to have, you know, a dysfunctional relationship. You know, they have to have a, a, a dysfunctional relationship with their children. You see what I'm talking about? Anytime we're, we're in the media and we're winning Oscars for our work and acting and things like that, we either have to be identified as some type of stereotypes or we have to be being oppressed. Things like roots, things like, you know, the color purple and things like that. We know about slavery, guys. Like, slavery is taught to us in school. There's so much, you know, to our history than us getting fucked up and things like that all the time. It's not what it's about. Okay? That's what I like about this movie. It shows the side of us with royalty, you know. Us being kings and queens. And a lot of people don't seem to like that. 
I don't see why it's so hard to just let us have a movie where we actually win for once. Well, you know, we're shown to be these great things. A lot of people have, like, really bad criticisms of this film, you know, things like that. And then the first thing they say is, well, I'm not racist. When the reality is, the reason why people have so many, you know, nitpicks about the movie and they want to bash it. And yes, there are actually people out there who are saying this is a really bad movie. I feel like the reality is, is because it is geared towards people like us. That's the real reason to it. People are triggered. I've seen people say things like, there's too much CGI in the movie. It's a fucking superhero movie. Are you like, are you for real? That's like saying it's too much special effects in Star Wars. What do you expect? It's supposed to be like that. He has fucking superpowers. I've heard people say that the acting's bad. I've heard people say things that uh, I'm, I don't like the phony uh, African accents. Well, you gotta remember they're actors. It's not gonna be perfect. What do you expect it to sound like? Because if we're being realistic, if if they're living in a society like that, that's cut off from the rest of the world, you should you should really be surprised they even speak English. But then again, it is a movie, so how else you know nobody would really enjoy that if if it was just subtitles all throughout the movie. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people have like criticism of it that are just ridiculous. They say things where the movie's anti-white. The movie's not anti-white. Every time something is pro-black or is geared to us, they have to think, well. It's, there's, it's not okay to be white or things like stupid shit like that. His movie Michael B. Jordan is a black supremacist and he's the antagonist. So anybody saying things, oh, this movie is, you know, it's, it's gonna get black people riled up, you know, start a race war. I've heard a lot of dumb shit. I'm not exaggerating. Anybody saying, like, oh, this movie is a, a fuck you to white people and all that. It's really not. The only thing this movie is going to do is it's going to get more people who weren't interested in Africanized culture or their own ancestry besides, you know, things like slavery and all that, actually learning our real history. That's what it's going to do. It's not going to make us go riot or do any stupid shit. The only way, as a white person, that you're going to use that logic to not like this movie is if you're guilty as a white person. Yes because anytime black people try to do anything on our own try to get all black cast production all that people get mad well, why did they do this why did they why did they get mad what if the movie was all white and all that newsflash everything is all white in this country every movie literally is what do you see on tv all the time white people that's that's the majority that's the default for everything why does the movie bother you it's just a movie. I don't understand like why anytime we try to do anything for ourselves and our own people, it's a problem. The only way that you can find a problem with that is if you really are racist and you feel threatened by this. Obviously that doesn't mean you're a damn white supremacist if you don't like the movie. If you have legitimate reasons behind it, then fair is fair. But if your criticism is based upon, oh, it's a black exploitation film, or it's just too much, anything to do with the fact that the movie is geared toward it being black, not actual movie elements like plot, characterization, the story, if your beef ain't with something like that, then that's probably the reason why. I'm going on movie reviews and I'm seeing people say things to the, you know, the, the people who made the videos like, oh, you're selling out, you're just afraid of black people's wrath and all that. Dude, the, like the movie is legitimately good outside of all that. I feel like anybody could watch this, whether you're a white person, Mexican, you know, Asian. I feel like anybody could watch this and not get offended. It's not the same as like, you know, Get Out or uh, the Django Unchained. Yes, the movie is about promoting the black race, but again, it's not saying anything necessarily towards anybody that isn't black. Yeah, this movie is geared towards us, but that doesn't mean if you're another ethnicity that you can't enjoy it. So when people say things like this, the only way you can really genuinely have a problem with it, if it's besides, like anything I said, if you don't have a problem with the characters, the special effects, the plot, or anything like that. If it's about race or something like that, then yeah, you're a fucking racist. Why can't you let black people have a movie of their own? Why does that bother you? You gotta be a racist. I'm seeing people troll the movie and make memes about it and put up, you know, bad reviews about it for no reason. 
that's the only that's the only thing I can conclude that you got to be a fucking racist and you mad about the movie. So in conclusion, if you haven't seen the movie, I feel like you should go see it. You saw it and you didn't like it. Hey, nothing we can do about that. Everybody has their own opinions. If you saw it and you did like it, make sure you tell as many people as you can to go see it. Movies are already doing hits that, you know, as far as making money. I feel like, yeah, yeah it's already made about like 200 million, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, don't bootleg it. Don't watch it on Showbox. Actually, legitimately go to the show and put money in, you know, in the actors, you know, the director that works so hard on it. Because the money we going to black people. So, yeah, support the movement, support the movie. This movie is going to pave the way for a whole lot more, you know, black superheroes. So, that's all I have to say.